This is a 2004 Goodman. There we go. 2004 Goodman, three and a half ton, 10 sear heat pump, matched up with an air handler and a Trianco propane boiler is tied into the system as backup heat. And that works, but I don't think it's hooked up at the moment. And I'll do a new startup shutdown in cool mode when it gets warm out. And I think there might be a light bit of um, crystallization on it. Oh yeah, it's slightly frozen. I don't know how well you can see it, but that little... Um, frozen. It is slightly frozen, but I already have an okay defrost video with this unit. I don't feel like waiting around for a defrost cycle today. Better. There's little pine needles sticking to the outside of the grill guard here, but compared to other units I've seen, the condenser coil and this one's pretty clean. All right, let's shut her down. Alright, I'll just put it on top of the gas meter again. Damn branches are in the way. I hope that does not knock the camera off the gas meter. Jesus. Alright. I'll be back. Alright. The heat pump has shut off. It's got a Copeland reciprocating compressor. And again, this is a three and a half ton or 42,000 BTU.
if and when we ever get it replaced, um, I think we're going to go with a 4 ton. Because I want my grandmother to get the XL20i and that doesn't come in the half ton sizes. So the best way to even that out and not get a unit that's oversized is to get a 4 ton because on more mild days it'll operate at 2 tons or 24,000 BTUs capacity. And it's weird because there's a house that's like pretty much the exact same floor plan that has a 4 ton heat pump which I think is just about the right size. There's another one that's just like this that has a 5 ton heat pump and that is grossly oversized. This has been a Stamped Octagon production.